Hey everyone, it is Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am doing great. Great. You know, one of the things I like to do with The Daily Delivery is to borrow, not borrow, steal ideas from Wabash Station, our VIP message board for our subscribers. Great discussions about K-State sports, Big 12 sports, college sports, and all sports in general. And one of the topics that tends to come up a lot is the growing disdain people have for ESPN. Someone recently linked an article that showed how much ESPN has declined in cable viewership over the last six years. Six years ago, they had more than 100 million cable subscribers. Now keep in mind, if you're getting ESPN on your cable system for just ESPN, that one channel, you're probably paying around $10 a month. ESPN2, ESPNU, the SEC Network, and any other ESPN entity costs even more. So you're paying more than $10 a month to get the ESPN tier of channels. And at 100 million people, we are talking in excess of a billion dollars a month to ESPN. It's a huge part of their business. It's how they built their business. But now more and more people are cutting their cable. They're moving into streaming options, same as we've done. And granted, when I subscribe to an entity such as YouTube TV, I pay for ESPN and those channels. But I pay less because ESPN has slowly ramped up their cable fees through the years to the point where, honestly, they're driving people away. I tend to believe that most of the people that aren't getting ESPN now through streaming are people who never wanted ESPN. They were never interested in sports, so having to pay for something they simply did not want, and we're talking, you know, almost $200 a year for something they didn't want, actually drove people off of cable. But now I do think some people are just simply giving up on ESPN. And I'll be honest here, ESPN used to show sports, talk about sports, and have sports news all day long. And now they've wandered so deeply into social issues, ESPN is no longer the escape that it used to be. People are weary of having to hear politics 24 seven, and now they can't even turn on the sports channel to get away from it. I don't know where ESPN's headed, but they think they're gonna take over college football and rule it forever. But as their revenues continue to decline, their ability to sign these rights contracts falls apart. That will impact the Big 12. That will impact K-State. And we'll have more on those thoughts on tomorrow's Daily Delivery. Hopefully someone will post some more topics on Wabash that I can steal because it works really well.